Good morning, students. Uh, today we are again going to study chapter one, but the topic today principle of moments. I ended. I was to begin in the previous session only the principle of moments, but today I am going to explain. See, what is the principle of moments? If on a rigid body a number of forces acts such that it remains in equilibrium then about this turning point the sum of anti-clockwise moments is equal to the sum of clockwise moments. So what I am going to say according to the principle of moments If a number of forces acting on a rigid body keep it in equilibrium, equilibrium is not tilted at one side, keep it in equilibrium, balanced position, rigid body keep it in equilibrium. Then the sum of anti clock wise moments, sum total of anti clock wise moments about the turning point. is equal to the sum of clockwise moments about that point. You can say in short form also in equilibrium at equilibrium the sum of anti-clockwise moments of all the forces acting on a body about the turning point is equal to the sum of clockwise moments of all the forces acting on the rigid body about that turning point. After this, we come to the the point. What is the center of gravity? Center of gravity. Think that any body is there. <laughs> there is always a center of gravity. Center of gravity. Center of gravity is a point where the whole weight of the body is supposed to be. From this point, the whole weight of the body is supposed to act. And children, this whole body is made up of several, several particles. Several particles it is made up of and all these particles have their own weights. So the algebraic sum of moments 
of the waves consist uh, of all the particles consisting the body is here about this point is <coughs> what i want to say center of gravity <coughs> First thing you will write as normal that the whole weight, it is the point, it is the point <coughs> where the whole weight of the body is supposed to act. But at the same time, you have to clarify it more and hence you will say that this is the point <coughs> about which the algebraic sum of moments of waves of all the particles <coughs> constituting the body is C. I am not talking about here <coughs> the principle of things. Here, the way, the moments of waves of the particles constituting the body about this point are equal. Anti-clockwise moment and clockwise moments are equal. Of the waves, in the waves of all the particles constituting the body. And hence we are going to write that this is the point about which the algebraic sum of moments of waves of all the particles constituting the body is Have you understood children? Good. See, this, this total body is made up of several, several particles. And the particles have, each particle has its own weight. Above this point, the sum of anti-clockwise moments of all the waves constituting the body and the clockwise moments about this point only are equal or you can say algebraic sum of moments if I say you know that anti-clockwise moment is taken as positive clockwise taken as negative so the algebraic sum if I do of all the waves, moments of all waves, then it will be C. <coughs> then we come to children. <coughs> Uniform circular motion. Uniform circular motion. If the body is moving on a circular path with a constant speed, this type of motion will be called as uniform circular motion. If a body 
means in a circular path such that its speed remains constant is called that the body then the body is said to have uniform circular motion children in this type of motion the velocity is variable speed is constant like if i say that speed is 10 meter per second of such a body which is going think that a body is moving and it has certain speed of 10 meter per second constant speed but children the direction because you can see here the direction changes every moment children every moment here the direction changes and therefore the velocity is variable here velocity is not constant in this the velocity is the velocity is variable and it is moving with uniform acceleration acceleration doesn't tell because every moment the same force constant force is applied and mass is same and hence the uniform acceleration f is equal to m a you know mass force is constant mass of the body is constant so a also acceleration also will be constant the velocity r is variable and is moving with uniform acceleration sometimes it is asked that how can you say that it is moving with uniform acceleration because you will say that it changes its direction continuously at every moment it changes its direction and hence there is a uniform acceleration it is a variable velocity it is moving with variable velocity and it is applied with uniform acceleration uniform force also see children it is if it is going here then uniform speed for uniform speed constant force is also required and therefore the acceleration is also uniform now we come to centripetal force and centrifugal force when the body is moving with centripetal see in a circular motion body is moving in a circular motion then the force which is applied towards the center means you tie a stone and move it round and upward it then the force acting towards the center it always acts towards the center at right and then the motion you need always tries to move away and the force acting at right angle to the motion so then this type of force we call it as centri Peter force centri Peter force if I define to the here how can you define centri Peter force when a body First you will say that a body is moving in a circular path when a body is moving 
una circular path then the force acting towards the center towards the center of the body towards the center will be called as centripetal force it always acts right angled to the direction of motion it always acts at right angle to the direction of motion If I talk about centrifugal force, then same thing will be like when a body is moving in a circular path, then the force acting away from the center. Difference is this only. Two types of forces act on each other. Centrifugal force, you also will feel it when you tie a stone and hold it round and round. You will see that the stone is always trying to throw it itself away from the center, and if you have to force it. You have to apply force inwards so that it can go in a circle. It can move in a circular path. So centrifugal force it is asked. Then what we will say that when a body is moving in a circular path, then the force acting away from the center away from the center <coughs> is called the centrifugal Force. Children, sometimes it is asked that whether centrifugal force is the reaction force of centrifugal force. You will say no. Centrifugal force and centripetal force are not the opposite. See, children, now see, they are opposite, yes, but what happens? You cannot say that it is a force of reaction. So you will write if the question is asked that whether centrifugal force question is asked <coughs> is centrifugal force <coughs> is the force of a reaction of the centrifugal force. You will say children, answer will be no. They are acting on the same body. 
See on the same particle, centripetal and centripetal forces are acting. In action and reaction force, what happens? That if I am forcing it, then the reaction force will be applied by this board. Not on the same body, but here it is acting on the same body. So it is not that the centrifugal force is the force of reaction of the centrifugal force. So no sense. You can write the reason that centrifugal and centrifugal forces act on the same body, act on the same body, but whereas, whereas, after this I am writing here, whereas the force of reaction, the force of action first you say, the force of action and the force of reaction are applied on different bodies are applied by different bodies or on different bodies both are same by different bodies so in this way children we have completed one one explanation I have to give you one short uh, explanation please uh, note down that how the planets revolve around the sun. You will say that the required centripetal force is provided by the gravitational force of the sun. How do planets revolve around the sun? Planets revolve around the sun because the required centripetal force is provided by the gravitational force of the sun. See, we do not talk about centrifugal force because centrifugal force is a virtual force. It is not a real force. So, automatically it will be applied. When centrifugal body will move round and round and centrifugal will be there. It is a virtual force. Mainly it is the centrifugal force which is applied by the gravitational force of the sun. Now children, we are left with some numericals and in the next session I will be telling you uh, some of the numericals of this chapter. So bye for